first ever exposure of the Orion Nebula. The Orion Nebula is one of the brightest objects in the night sky and it's visible with the naked eye. It's an astrophotographer's dream, 3 million years old, 30 to 40 light years in diameter. This is a stellar nursery home to over 700 stars which are currently undergoing formation. It's 1,300 light years away from Earth. We are literally looking at the beginnings of what could be new solar systems, planets and maybe even someday life. Today I'll be attempting to capture this nebula through my telescope and I'm confident I can get a great image. This will be my first attempt at deep sky astrophotography. In terms of camera settings, I'm going to be using ISO 800 and I'm going to go for 3 minute exposures uh, which should be enough time to get a really clear and detailed image uh, and really let that signal hit the camera. It's important for long exposures like this to use auto guiding um, and this basically means that the mouse tracking ability will be better. Uh, resulting in sharper stars in your image and a higher quality final picture. For this I'll be using PhD2 guiding uh, which is free software and really simple to use. I'll be running the overall session in APT astrophotography tool um, and this connects to my camera, allows you to adjust the settings, um, things like ISO, what exposure to use, how many photos uh, and you can see what the camera is seeing through your laptop so it makes the whole process automatic, simple and straightforward. Um, it means you don't have to keep pressing the buttons on the camera, so it's really useful um, and something that most astro astrophotographers use. Anyway, that's enough talk. I'm going to go set up now uh, and make sure we're ready for tonight. Let's do this. take 40 of these exposures and I'm going to stack them on top of each other, really increase that signal to noise ratio and we should get a fantastic final image. We are using the Optolong LX Stream filter which kills light pollution and lets in just the hydrogen alpha. I will be using calibration frames as well, so darks, flats, um, so that should really help in terms of uh, reducing the noise in the image. Uh, all these little things are really important when you want to get a really crystal clear final picture um, it is a lot more effort, but once you go through that process, the results just really speak for themselves. Now we've just got to be patient, we've got a couple hours left of imaging. Hopefully this will all come out well, uh, the telescope's all set up, it looks like it will be clear for the rest of the night. It's looking good so far. The great thing about the Optolong LX Stream filter is that it blocks out all moonlight, as well as light pollution as well, so I'm shooting in Bortal 8 skies. And using the LX Stream filter, I can get a very clear picture of Orion, even with the moon there as well. 